Good morning, everyone, and welcome to yet another week of Sean's Picks of the Week, where I wrap up all of the picks of the day I did over the past week, which would sort of explain the name of the thing. Yeah. Anyway, so as a reminder, if you click on links uh, that are attached to all of this, you are, and then you make any purchases, you are feeding affiliate income into my coffers. Which, as always, means Raya actually gets to have kibble. So she was very grateful, as are the rest of us. So having gotten that out of the way, let's deal with what I called Water, Water Everywhere Week. And yes, totally inspired by the release of Oceanic Discoveries by my friend and partner at Evil Beagle Games, Michael Serbrook. So this is the latest entry in the Michael Serbrook Presents line. Oceanic Discoveries is a collection of strange and unusual things to find in the ocean. It is his usual deep dive take on all kinds of cool things about gaming in an oceanic or large body of water type setting. And it includes the usual plethora of cool random tables to roll on, as long with a bunch of other cool encounter type stuff. So if you've not checked out the Michael Serbuck's Serbuck Presents line, and especially the Discoveries uh, subline of books, uh, you should do so because there's a lot of really great and very well thought out and researched material to add to your various campaigns with a heavy focus on 5e support these days. All right, we decided to stick with the water theme and Seventh Sea Pirate Nations. I mean, Seventh Sea, of course, bespeaks of ships, uh, you know, tall sailing ships and, and piracy and all that kind of stuff anyway, but the Pirate Nations in particular... Uh, do the deep dive into the you know, the second edition version of the Seventh Sea World of Thea. So this is uh, uh, really going to be a fun book for anybody playing Seventh Sea, and it's also just going to be a great inspiration for anybody wanting to do that swashbuckling sail the Seventh Seas kind of thing. Next, we had a very interesting choice, Ocean, which is uh, obviously you know, an obvious pick for Water, Water Everywhere, but this one does a very strange mix of the murder mystery parties mixed with RPG. There's a bit of an escape room theme kind of thing going on with it. Um, you know, So you set this up, and, and you and the rest of the people at the table try to work your way through uh, this deep storytelling narrative experience with a lot of pu puzzle and problem solving involved. So very, very different kind of game that, uh, once again, pushes on the boundaries of traditional RPGs and takes them to all kinds of new places. Missed yesterday. Uh, Thursdays just are crazy for me. I'm just going to be, I'll be miss a lot of Thursdays as it comes down to it. But uh, today was Oceans of Blood, part of the Monster Menagerie line. This one's done by Sam Hang, and it is for... Uh, Rogue Genius Games. Uh, this one is a Pathfinder-driven book that would really apply well to any D20-driven game of your choice and honestly take the monsters and translate them for any game and uh, system that you like. Uh, and there's just some really cool, fun stuff. Rogue Genius Games just always does great stuff. So there it is. Those are the Water, Water, Everywhere picks of this week. And uh, I appreciate your, your continued uh, listening and watching and support. And uh, as always, game on and be good.